Paul Walter Mellon, Paul Walter Mellon, when you're stuck in a fight. Paul Walter Mellon, Paul Walter Mellon, Paul Walter Mellon, well, he's not hard to find. When you hear those sick and you must find a substitute, Walter Mellon is a choice. At least he's got the suit. For you, sir. Yes, my servant. <laughs> oh, Petunia, my darling queen. You're here at last in Pavarotum. Have some grapes. Mmm. Mmm, thanks. Now we can get married. Hand in hand, we'll rule over Rhodes. Come along, sweetheart. I'll show you my alcove. Oh, Benny, you're so romantic, strong, dashing, not to mention lovable. <laughs> what a surprise you're in for, my little lovebirds. For I, Senator Sneerus Horribilis, will be the future king of Rhodes. Are you going to swing that, boss? Elementaris, my dear Crocus Mocus. <gasps> Tomorrow at the steam baths, we'll eliminate Ben Hurdy Gurdy. Then, I'll force Queen Petunia to marry me. The throne of Rhodes will be mine. How's that, sir? Mm, yes, good. I. Uh... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> To your massage technique, Brutus Lee? No, I did. Now that you're at my mercy, Ben Hurdy Gurdy, I'm going to send you off to the iron mines in Bada Boom. Drag him away! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. Hey, anybody home? No, under here. No, oh, upsy daisy, big boy. Say, do you always barge into people's places this way? Let me introduce myself. I'm asparagus, a free slave. And I'm Walter Mellon, hero for hire at reasonable rates. I met up with Ben Hurdy Gurdy at the Bada Boom Mines. From which I escaped. Ben Hurdy Gurdy, the greatest charioteer in history. He requests that you go to Pavarotum to stand in for him and save his fiancee, Petunia, the Queen of Rhodes, from the clutches of the vile Senator Sneerus Horribilis. Ben Hurdy Gurdy has come to the right place. It's about time. All the other dancing girls are already here. Put this on and get into the parlor. You, who my sweet Petunia. <laughs> would you, would you, would you? <laughs> yeah. Ah, the show is beginning. The Coconut Ballet. Easy does it! Don't be afraid. It's me, Ben Hurdy Gurdy. Ben, what are you doing dressed like that? And you look 20 pounds heavier than when you went into the steam bath. 
I have no time to explain. Let's try to dance our way inconspicuously out of here. Uh-oh. Oops. Uh-oh. Ben Hurdy Gurdy? Or should I have said Ben Hurdy Gurley? Come on, we're out of here. Crocus! Get him! Uh oh. No bridge! Oh, oh Pooh, we're surrounded. I don't know how you managed to escape from the Bottaboom Iron Mines. But I'm going to send you somewhere you'll never come back from. The galleys. No! I love boats. Infinist, <laughs> <sighs> pick up the temple. Good idea. Let's get a move on. I'm a busy man and I've got to save Petunia. <laughs> you what? Can't <laughs> keep this rhythm. Where did everybody go? Oh, I get it. There must be a movie theater below deck. So it's time for a swim, huh? I'll be right in, fellas. Great cruise. On board exercise, off board swimming, and a crew that leaves you to your own devices. Fantastic. I have to make it to Pavaratum in a big hurry. Would you have a vehicle I could rent? Yeah! Have you heard the new hit by Emperor Julius Iglesias? Rome wasn't built in a day. Let's see your license and registration. Oh, there must be some mistake, officers. I'm on my way to Pavaratum to save my fiance, Petunia. My name is Ben Hurdy Gurdy. Wait a minute, what have I done? You were speeding, Gurdy. You were doing 20 in a 10 mile zone. Your material for the next prisoner auction, pal. Via Appia needs some road repairs. There. Almost done. I hope they'll let me go now so I can free Petunia. Prisoner Ben Hurdy Gurdy! You've been sold as a birthday present to a Roman patrician! Package for Senator Sneeris Horribilis. Great! It must be that birthday present I ordered for myself. Happy birthday! Ben Hurdy Gurdy! Ben Hurdy Gurdy! Crocus! <laughs> You're quite a persistent guy, Ben Hurdy Gurdy. So I'll offer you a deal. Tomorrow's the great chariot race in Pavarotum, in the presence of Emperor Julius Iglesias. Whichever one of us two wins can take Petunia as his bride. Well, I don't know. Hello, sports fans. This is a live broadcast from the Pavarotum Amphitheater, where the Emperor's Grand Prix race is soon going to stop. Keep an eye on my two favorites, Ben Hurdy Gurdy on his two-steer chariot, Lane 4, and Senator Sneeris Horribilis, Lane 5. And right there, they're off! Ladies and gentlemen, already one contestant is out of the running. Nearest Horribilis has now pulled into the lane. <laughs> Faster, Crocus! Get along, little doggies. Get along. Well, I guess you doggies are going to need a little incentive. <laughs> An advertising balloon for cream cheese. That's no ad. That's Ben Hurdy Gurdy, you slim brain. Yeah! Heads up! Hey, who turned out the lights? It's a headlong dash for the finish 
line. This is truly the thriller in Romilla. Who's gonna win? Ben Hurdy Gurdy Boss Nearest Horrible. Yeah! Sports fans, the last two contestants have come in at almost exactly the same time. We're awaiting the photo finish at this very moment. The photo finish, oh great Emperor Julius Iglesias. The winner is Ben Hurdy Gurdy by a no. Ben Hurdy Gurdy. You are the god of this stadium today. Congratulations. I'll grant you anything your heart desires. Well, I wish to marry Miss Petunia. Hey, uh, Petunia. But, uh, unfortunately, she has made another choice. What would you say to Australia, love? <laughs> Anywhere you want, you great big rogue warrior. <laughs> Jungle, mysterious and merciless. Devour or be devoured, that is the law. It was here amongst the wolves that the nature boy, Moldy, was raised. But now, Moldy is grown, and the Council of Animals has decided he must return amongst his own kind. The panther, Blabola, and the bear, Baloney, are charged with the mission of escorting the boy to civilization. I want to stay in the jungle, and I want my electronic game. I'll give it back to you when we get to the village. Wah! It's my video game, and I want it. I want it now. Wah! Ouch! Moldy ass. <laughs> This time, it's war! What? Where? Help! Uh, no lights! I can't see! No! Baloney, are you okay? No! That's it! I can't take any more of this, kid! We've gotta find some replacements to do this job, or I'll go bananas! In fact, I already have! Replacements? Hmm. I think I got an idea, Baloney. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the weather forecast. The weather will be good over most of the country. And so, the animals passed the word. The primal grapevine was in operation. The situation was dire, and all animosity was put aside to get two temps to fill in for Baloney and Blabla. Pretty Polly. Polly want a melon? I hope not. If there's one thing we don't need in the office, it's a bird. May I help you, gentlemen? Oh, yes. Um, well, I'm interested in purchasing this parrot. But tell me something. Does it talk? Unfortunately, it only has a limited vocabulary. It keeps repeating the same thing over and over. Important mission for Walter Mellon, hero for hire, and his sidekick, Bitterbug. <coughs> Stop. Must go to the jungle. <coughs> Stop. Stand in for Baloney and Blabala, who've given up trying to drop Moldy the Nature Boy off in civilization. Stop. <coughs> Lots of luck. You'll need it. Stop. <coughs> Important message for Walter Mellon. Bitterbug, duty calls. I am about to tempt for Baloney the Bear, and you're going to tempt for the Panther Blabola. Yo, oh, Bitterbug, not only did you get the wrong Panther costume, but you're disturbing the peace of the jungle. <laughs> oh, couldn't they have found a hypoallergenic Panther outfit? I should have been the bear. Oh, stop complaining. Now let's get to it. We've got to find young Moldy and lead him back to civilization. <laughs> oh my. I've never seen this specimen of tree before, Bitterbug. Oh, please, Bitterbug, stop moaning like that. That wasn't me, Melon. Oh, then it must be this big 60-foot monkey. If you want my advice, big fella, you need those legs waxed. Now, I know a good addition. Oh, mother gracious!
delicious and life. Oh, I know a good dentist, too. You really should have those gums checked. Oh. Jungle bungee jumping. How thoughtful of that large ape to show us this ride. Melon, look who's here. You two again. Well, I don't want to go back. I want to stay in the jungle, and I'm hungry. I want a hamburger. What a little brat. Oh, unsens me. I've studied child psychology. Just watch me. <clears throat> Are you unhappy, Sunny? How'd you like old Baloney Bear to tell you a story? Okay, tell me the story of this nose! <laughs> no! Oh, fine. Then how'd you like to play a game? Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to play Simon Says. <laughs> you see, Bitterbug, child psychology, you can't beat it. Soon these animals will be the main attractions in my P.T. Bumpkin Circus. Thanks to them, I shall make a fortune. Lumpkin, my net! Here you are, boss. Here. Okay. Simon says, stand on your hands. Great game, eh, Bitterbug? No, because if you ask me, it's going to end badly. Simon says, lift your arm. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Did you see that, Lumpkin? Oh, yeah. I'd like to play Simon Says, too. <laughs> Numbskull? I mean the kid. He can make those two wild animals do amazing tricks. He's the greatest animal trainer I've ever seen. I've got to have him and his pets in my circus. Well, I'm well Melon, you're the shrink. I'm doing something. Listen, Moldy, playtime is over now. But I'm real good with my hands. I'll make you anything you like. Really? Hey, thanks, Baloney. Can you make me a parrot call? There, I finished your parrot call. <laughs> Lots of birds, but no parrot. Your call stinks, Baloney. Well, let's not count our chickens before they come home to roost, Moldy. Let me try and make you another one. There, I finished. Give it to me! I want to try! Just one more stitch in. Hmm, Shane in danger. Ungoa! I'm coming, Shane. You're useless, Baloney. You don't know how to make a parrot call worth deadly squawk. <laughs> Maybe it didn't call a parrot, but it sure got Marzipan's attention. Yeah, but I wanted the bird, not some stupid ape man. Brother, this is one kid that's hard to please. They'll think they're heading for the village and walk right into my trap. You know, you guys aren't good for anything. You haven't shown me one thing that interests me. Melon, make him stop. My ursine instinct tells me to go to the right. Hmm, that's strange. Now my bear-like instincts warn me of danger. That is strange, since you're not even a bear. Oh, shush. You'll disillusion the boy. Oh, see? I do have instincts. Yes. This time I've done it. You are my prisoner. Look out. My bear's instinct tells me there's a tiger behind you. All right. I've heard that one before. I turn around and wham, you bear hug me. Well, I wasn't born yesterday. Sheer corn, the fiercest tiger in the jungle. What does your bear's instinct tell you now, Melon? Now what do we do? We'll charm him with our baritones. <laughs> In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the tiger sleeps tonight. Take it, Bitterbug. 
Congratulations! It's not everyone who can scare off sheer corn. Allow me to show my gratitude. How about a cup of tea in my camp? Oh my, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> my voice is a little hoarse from that impromptu concert. Baloney, you knock me out. I'm gonna make you a big star. Talk shows, book signing tours, the works. Really? Sign up with me, and you'll be the biggest bear star in the world! Big Bear Baloney! But we're on a mission. We, we've got to get Moldy back to civilization. Ah, the kid can come too. I'll get him a tutor. Come on, I'll take you all back to town with me. We accept with pleasure, Mr. Bumpkin. I knew we should never have trusted P.T. Bumpkin. Oh, what are you complaining about, Bitterbug? We accomplished our mission, we got Moldy back to civilization. And what's more, we're stars. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you will tremble with fear. I give you Moldy and his magnificent man-eaters. Look mean, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Blabber. Jump through, boy! Coming, kid! At last, I'm in the limelight! My dream has come true! Yippee! <laughs> 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 